IBC, Nathan Medal down under here. Uh, time to do a contest entry, uh, and this is for Guz69 and his 213 uh, subscribers uh, competition. Uh, congratulations, Gus, uh, reaching that milestone. Um, great channel, shows a lot of really awesome Brazilian bands that we have never heard of. Um, so putting their names out there. Also has another channel, uh, spoken in Portuguese, and that is uh, Metal Open Mind. Another great channel for you guys uh, to check out. Um, yep, so this uh, competition, uh, th three different themes, uh, three different questions. Uh, it's versions, drummers, and creatures. Now I'm going to start off with the creatures. Uh, show three albums with some of your th three favorite creatures on. First one is going to be a dragon. And it is off uh, Brothers of Metal, its latest effort, uh, Imbala Saga. Isn't that fantastic artwork? Uh, album came out uh, end of last year, beginning of this year, I believe. Great uh, Viking metal, uh, and it looks like Viking metal from the cover too, doesn't it? Uh, amazing stuff. Uh, next one is Berserker from uh, Beast in Black. Uh, you'd hate to meet him in a dark alley at night, wouldn't you? Uh, so like half man half wolf um, but fantastic uh, artwork there and we'll just call him uh, the berserker uh, also looks like there's a dragon up there as well yep so berserker beast in black and the last one is the latest effort from uh, sacred reich and awakening uh, not the finest effort of theirs but still a good album all the same and here you have some form of a creature here uh, with the helmet on uh, horrible long fingernails, uh, fingers. Uh, but if we also look up in different areas, there's other kinds of uh, creatures as well, so like Beelzebub sort of um, creatures, um, but fantastic black and uh, white artwork there also. So that's my three guys, hope you enjoyed them. Uh, next one was uh, name uh, two cover songs and their respective uh, albums they originally came from. Uh, the first one is going to be off Dio and Friends, a great uh, release here, uh, paying homage uh, to the mighty uh, Ronnie James Dio, uh, who has passed away, obviously, uh, rest in peace buddy, uh, and it's the song, uh, yeah, got it here. Uh, Rainbow in the Dark, uh, and it's uh, sung by yours, it's... Uh, Corey Taylor from Slipknot, Jason Christopher, not sure where he's from, uh, Christian Martucci, also not sure where he's from, uh, Roy Miorga, also not where he, not sure where he is from, uh, but Satchel is from Steel Panther. Uh, they do a great uh, version of it here, uh, to pay respect to uh, the mighty Dio. And then we have the original one here, of a uh, fantastic album, uh, Holy Diver. Um, his best album in my personal opinion uh, and then we have it uh, where is it uh, track number eight rainbow in the dark great album uh, and the second one i'm going with is off uh, where did i put it here yeah. another tribute album uh, and this tribute album is uh, to black sabbath um, and i'm going with the song paranoid number three uh, sung by Megadeth. It's a funny thing is Dad was also in a Black Sabbath. Um, yep, so Megadeth and Paranoid. Awesome cover they do there. Uh, and it is off the original album from Black Sabbath. Uh, Paranoid. Terrible artwork there. Uh, and we have track number two, Paranoid. Great song, but horrible cover. So that's that. Uh, and the last one, which I really, really struggled with, I had a few people uh, helping me out a little bit, including Guz, uh, but I thought of something, somebody in the end. Uh, I am not sure if he has been shown already, uh, but I'm going to show him anyway. Uh, and it is the mighty Tommy Lee, uh, originally from Motley Crue. Uh, fantastic drummer, especially when he gets up in the uh, drum rig and it goes on the roller coasters and uh, floats upside down and the likes uh, yep so tommy lee and this album is um too fast for love brains uh losing it uh, it's late here on a sunday night um yep too fast for love from motley crew but he has also been in 
Another band. Uh, Methods of Mayhem. Now this is completely different. There's a few rock songs on here, uh, but it's actually quite uh, rappy in uh, in places. Uh, but he plays the drums on this. Um, it's okay. Listen, um, not something I go to very often. I uh, found this really really cheap, uh, but as soon as I saw that Tommy Lee was on it, uh, I picked it up because um, I love uh, Motley Crue. And yeah, so Methods of Mayhem is another band he was in. Uh, what year? 1999 this one is from so obviously uh, when he had uh, left uh, the band Motley Crue uh, for a bit of time uh, Methods of Mayhem and he went into his own his own project and then he also was in Rockstar Supernova uh, with uh, Jason Newstead from Metallica uh, Gilby and Gilby Clark from uh, Guns N' Roses fame um, I enjoyed there was a TV show, uh, Rockstar Supernova. Uh, no, it wasn't. I can't remember the actual fact. I can't remember the name of the TV show. Um, but it was to find a singer. Uh, and this is the album they came out with, is Rockstar Supernova. And if you look on the back, there is uh, Tommy Lee there. Okay album. Nothing spectacular. A few good songs on it. Um, but yeah, that's my pick. Tommy Lee, originally from Motley Crue, uh, was also in Rockstar Supernova, and Methods of Mayhem. I'll actually see if I can find a photograph of, of him in this uh, book. Possibly not, but we'll have a quick little squidge anyway. Uh, well, you won't be able to see it very well, but right at the top there, there's a picture of uh, Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson. And there's also a, another one of Tommy there. So, thanks Gus for doing this competition. Congratulations once again. Uh, look forward to watching everybody else's entries and hope you get plenty of entries. So, catch you later guys. Bye for now.